We're here at Beyond 2015, the Global Youth Summit in San Jose, Costa Rica, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Dr. Hamid Touré, Secretary General of the ITU. Dr. Touré, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Good to be here. The Beyond 2015 Global Youth Summit uh, kicked off yesterday, 9th of September, in San Jose, Costa Rica. I'd like to talk to you about uh, how many people are participating in the summit and uh, the different ways that they're doing it. We're here in Costa Rica for the Global Youth Summit, over 600 participants from 67 countries. Some of them came from very far places, from Afghanistan, Australia, from places like uh, Zimbabwe, and uh, really we have the real uh, United Nations here today. But beyond the participation of the six, 67 countries here, we have over 3,500 delegates uh, around the globe in 50 hubs scattered over 30 countries. Those are using the normal platforms that we have some, from social media that are giving them opportunity to be full participants of this conference. So it's really exciting. It's an incredible scale. Has the ITU been involved in such a large uh, gathering on a global basis before? Well, this is the largest gathering ever on this uh, uh, issue, and especially giving the youth the opportunity to speak out. You have youngsters who do not own computers or who do not have an internet connection, but are participating in this event for the first time. And we believe that uh, this is uh, uh, going to be have a, a real uh, snowball effect in addressing the issues regarding the youth, which is our future. And uh, in, at the global level, we will be able to continue to use these kind of platforms. I was going to ask you, what is the aim of this summit? What's the aim of Beyond 2015? And, uh, and what are some of the issues that are going to be focused on? Well, it's very important to bring the young youngsters together uh, today that uh, the United Nations is discussing the post-2015 agenda, the Millennium Development Goals and the Sustainable Development Goals and the climate change issues. We're giving the youth the opportunity to bring in their contribution to this debate. Uh, President Chinchia, who is a patron of uh, ITU's Child Online Protection, who was the initiator of this uh, initiative, uh, will be bringing this message to the UN General Assembly uh, er, later this month uh, in New York. Uh, but Mr. Uh, Mr. Ahmed uh, Alendawi, who is the uh, UN Secretary General's uh, Special Envoy for Youth, and myself will be carrying it, this message as well through the United Nations system. Uh, but we are fortunate uh, for, with the participation of uh, also the uh, uh, President of uh, ECOSOG, who will be carrying this message at the ECOSOC level. Therefore, we really believe that uh, the voices of the youth will be heard. Finally, I'd like to ask you, being surrounded by all these energized young people in, in such a stimulating environment, how does that make you feel for the future? Well, it's, it's very exciting. I, know, I mean, uh, it's, there's a contagious uh, dynamism in this room. Uh, but beyond all this, what I can see in the eyes of the youngsters, there is hope. And they are very confident about the future of the, of the world and they know what to do. They should not be underestimated and we are giving them the opportunity to do that. And uh, they will be uh, coming with a, a real good product. Uh, their parents, uh, their seniors will be very much proud of them. Dr. Turay, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.